Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the new Rig Templates feature introduced into Creature. <laughs> so let's get started. Now, Rig Templates are a new powerful feature that allows you to use a set of pre-built skeletal rigs or bones onto your character. This means that you don't actually have to manually construct bones if you don't want to and just pick from a pre-built selection of rigs. You can either download a bunch of pre-built rigs from the website, which I'll show you in a moment, or you can actually construct your own character rigs, own skeletal rigs, export them and use them for later use. So it's a very powerful feature that you should consider using if you have tons of characters and you want to reuse skeletal rigs. For example, you might have different characters, various characters that all are humanoid bipeds, correct? And they all might share the same skeletal structure. So in this case, you probably want to use the rig templates to be help you pre-build a single skeletal rig which you can then reuse across different characters. Okay, so to get started, let's jump in. All you need to do here, let's let's take a look at this character first. There's There are no bones as you notice on this character. I'm going to use the rig templates to install a pre-built skeletal rig on this character. So first thing you need to do is move your mouse and switch to bone mode in, rig, in rigging mode and then click on the use rig template button. Okay, and then this window pops up and this is the rig template window. Now there are two modes, import and export. Let's talk about import first because that's how we're going to install a pre-built skeleton onto this character. Now there are a couple of options on top. You can actually click download. If you click download, you'll notice there are already a, a set of pre-built rig templates available for you to download, right? You can you notice there is a human humanoid biped, there's a woman template, there is a front-facing human template, there's a quadruped, quadruped character template, there's a bipedal dinosaur template, there's a flying bird template, and so on. So feel free to browse through the collection and then when you're ready, let's say we want to pick the bipedal human template, I'll just right-click and click Save As to save your file out. Okay, and then we're going to pick that file to use in our character. So over here, this character over here is going to be installed with a new pre-built skeletal template. So move your mouse over to load, all right, and then pick template human .cree rig. That's the one that that was downloaded from the website, or you can make your own. Okay, so click open. Now you notice here is the skeleton. Okay, and of course it's not aligned perfectly with your character. So all you, all you need to do is size it down using the the uh, different global sizers, right? So I can size down the human like so and you can also directly manipulate the bones to make them fit your character properly right this this is typically what you want to do because the rig template might not fit your character perfectly but it's almost there so it saves you the hassle <clears throat> of actually creating the bones directly manually you can actually just use the rig templates and then just go around there and slightly modify the positions of the bones to make them fit your your character and there you have it okay that's that's our bones right so that that fits our character quite well okay so now you have that the next thing rig templates actually helps you a lot is doing bone weight region assignment so if you notice in the previous creature tutorials or when you're using creature we have to assign regions to bones correct that's how we do bone weighting. We have to assign which regions go with which bones and how they're affected by which bones. Now, that process itself might be slightly tedious if you have tons of bones and tons of regions. So this is where rig templates actually helps you out too. So you notice for each pre-built rig template, there are actually a bunch of what we call parts in at the bottom of the, the window, right? There is a part called torso, leg back, arm front, arm back, head, and leg front. And what, what these parts actually define are a set of bones that you can associate with your regions. Okay, So all you need to do now is to associate these parts with your regions. And then when you actually import this rig template, the skeletal template, Creature is actually going to automatically help you assign those regions to those bones, those set of bones. So this saves you a lot of time because you don't have to go in and manually assign each region to each bone. 
Okay, so let's start by going through how this process works. Click on torso, okay, and you notice immediately these two bones are highlighted. This means these bones are associated with the torso. And all I need, all I need to do now is move my mouse over to the, this floating regions window, and I can select the regions, the mesh regions associated with the torso part. And that would probably be my body and my cloth. Yes, you notice it's, it's highlighted. And then I just move my mouse to assign regions and that assigns it. And immediately this starts glowing, right? This, this means it's assigned to torso. So let's do the same. Let's go to leg back. Okay, leg back, le leg back is, back is these guys. So I'll assign it to leg lower. I think that's what it should be. Okay, arm front. That should be probably hand, okay? Arm back, that should be arm lower. Head, well, it's head, <laughs> obvious. And leg front should be leg, yeah? Okay, so now all the individual mesh regions have been, have been assigned to their corresponding parts, and we are ready to import. So just click Close and Import, okay? And there you go. That's, that's our skeletal rig. If we click on each bone now and click on weight, yeah, you notice if we switch between the bones, you notice that, look at this, all the different bones have now been assigned to their correct body parts. That's fantastic. So all we need to do now is just do one round of auto weighting or manual weighting if you want. I'm going to do auto weighting here. Click apply to all and let's do some testing. Look at that. So every single bone has been assigned to their correct body regions. That's pretty cool, huh? Yep. So as you can see, rig template saves you a lot of time in creating a skeletal rig. You no longer have to actually go in and manually create bones. You can you, you can pick from a, a set of pre-built skeletal templates. So it's very, very powerful. And as you build more rig templates over time, you're going to be able to reuse them and construct your character rigs and get your characters into the animation phase in an even faster faster face, faster way, okay? So, okay, so that was the import of the rig templates. Let's talk about the exports, right? Because import allowed you to, uh, to allow you to actually import a bunch of pre-built pre character rigs. What if you wanted to construct your own character rigs for your own usage? So let's go to export, okay? So in export mode, this is what you see. You see your, just your skeleton, okay? And this is what you can export. Now, before you actually click export, which is obviously disabled, you have to define your parts. Remember I talked about the parts? So let's start adding a part. So let's say, let's add a torso part, for example. Okay, and then you have to associate the bones with the part. So you can group select it by holding out a control key, or you can you know select a boundary selection rectangle. And then with these two bones selected, I can go in and say, okay, these two bones are these these two bones are associated with the torso. So now I click assign bones, and it starts glowing. Cool. Okay, and then I can add add another part. Let's say head. Okay, and I can say this head this head bone is associated with the head. So assign it to that, and then I can go in and say arm upper, for example, and I can say these guys associated with the upper arm arm lower, these guys are associated with the lower arm, and leg upper, okay, and these are the upper legs, and let's try leg lower, leg lower, and I'll assign it to the lower leg. And oh, I forgot to assign this guy, so this should be a torso. So let me switch back to torso and assign him. Okay, so now when I switch between the different parts, you can see all the bones are assigned to their corresponding parts, which I care about, okay? And if you want to rename it, just click on that, the part, click on it again, and you can rename it. Okay, simple. And once you're ready for that, click export, and you can then export your character or creature rig and you're done. And then you can go back to import and then import it for your late usage. Okay, so very, very simple stuff. And that's basically it. That's basically it for using rig templates, the new very powerful feature in Creature that allows you to construct and customize pre-built skeletal rigs that you can reuse for a wide range of characters. I hope you find this extremely useful, especially when you're, say, working in a studio environment where you have a tons of characters that share very similar rigs. Use this feature to help you save lots of time 
and allow you to basically reuse and efficiently, you know, spread the the the, the similar rigs or similar characteristics of your, of your skeletal structures around the different characters to help uh, build your character pipeline. So thanks for watching and happy animating.